ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ನಾವ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಚಾಂಟ್ ಭರ್ಗೋ ಭರ್ಗೋ ಬರೇಣ್ಯ 
ಸತ್ಯಂಬದೇಶೇತಸ್ಮಾಹಮಿದಮುಪಸ್ತರಣಮುಪಸ್ತರಣಮುಪಸ್ತರಣಮೇ ಪ್ರಜಾಯೈ ಪಶೂನಾಂ ಭೂಯಾದುಪಸ್ತರಣಮಹಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಯೈ ಪಶೂನಾಂ ಭೂಯಾಸಂಪ್ರಾಣಪಾನೌ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾಪಾತ ಪ್ರಾಣಪಾನೌ ಮಾಷ್ಟ ಮಧುಮನಿಷ್ಯೆ ಮಧುಜನಿಷ್ಯೆ ಮಧುವಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮಧುವದಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮಧುಮತಿ ದೇವೇಭ್ಯೋ ವಾಚ ಮುದ್ಯಾಸುಶ್ರೂಷೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯೇಭ್ಯಸ್ತ ಮಾದೇವಾ ಅವಂತು ಶೋಭಾಯೈ ಪಿತರೋನು ಮದಂತು thank you teachers i now request our managing trustee sri sudhakar to present a few words on this occasion namaskaram i came to mandiram uh, in 99 i was forced by my wife to come here for a consultation and my first meeting sir converted me to a a fan slash fanatic of uh, the the whole teachings few years later when he asked me to join the board i was shocked first but then i was little nervous at the responsibilities but then you you don't really have any choice when sir asks you to do something and it's it's a blessing to be able to do whatever little i can to organize organization that he really cherished in building it over the years over the years i have had several opportunities to learn from sir from mandiram and from several fellow trustees on the board who have shaped me and consolidated this wonderful organization one such special person who played a pivotal role in the early stages of mandiram in the board and also helped me understand what is a trust and how do you run the governance at mandiram is shri suresh rao he was asked to join the board uh, by none other than uh, shri tk himself and has played important role working yeah important role in the early years of mandiram he has been a student of shri tk and has worked with sir extensively in the in building this beautiful organization though he stepped down from the board in 2009 i we all continue to seek his support and uh, guidance on how various aspect of governance and implementation of sir's vision is continue to do be done here shri desika char memorial lecture series is a the brain child of uh, shri uh, sridharan sir and dr lata one of those mini meetings we sit and discuss how we can add more value and make sure the teachings are taken forward both of them couldn't be here for various reasons hopefully from next uh, month they'll be here sir on account of living and studying with shri tk had several unique opportunities of learning a broad spectrum of yoga subjects also he had an ability to distill his father's teachings to suit any one he was teaching many students therefore experienced various facets of his teachings in a very highly individualized way these memorial lectures will be a way of keeping his teachings alive and get some insights to the multifaceted teaching of shri desika char first in the series we hope to have it every 21st of uh, every month uh, over the next few years and there are quite a quite a list of speakers who can uh, who can come here and share their learnings for our own benefits 
First in the series, we have Sri Suresh Rao to talk about his experience and learnings from being in the KYM board with Sir. I take great pleasure in welcoming Sir on, on behalf of all the students of KYM to share his experience with us for a few minutes. Thank you, sir. May I now request our managing trustee, Shri Sudhakar, to honor the speaker of the day, Sri Suresh Rao. May I now request Sri Suresh Rao to speak a few words on this occasion. Friends, it's a great pleasure to speak on Sri Deskachar. I wish to thank the Board of Trustees for inviting me to speak on him. Before I start, I, w I wish to congratulate uh, the Trustees for the and compliment them for the stirring Vedic chanting session they had on 2nd of September. It, I think it was a fitting start for the monthly meetings that they wish to have in memory of this culture. I'll be restricting myself to speak on this Kachar as I knew him, not as a student of this Kachar, because uh, frankly speaking, I studied uh, and learned my yoga lessons from Sri Krishnamacharya. So let me restrict myself on what I thought this culture was. Before 1976, this culture was known to me only as the son of C. E. Krishnamacharya. We used to have uh, a Sunday evening sessions, talks by C. Krishnamacharya, and uh, there used to be someone who was recording all this. And I inquired, and I was told he is the son of uh, Krishnamacharya. That's all I knew about him at that time. It was in, I think, mid-1976 that one day he walked in with the, the other fellow trust, fellow trust Sri Kupsami, and uh, told me, Sri Krishnamacharya has told me to invite you to be on the board. You know, that's a very difficult thing to say. Once he uh, quotes his father, you have uh, nothing to reply. You know, you just have to accept it. That's what happened to me. I presume that I was invited to be on the board. One, because I was, I was a student of uh, Krishmacharya. Two, because of my accounting background, he wanted someone to look after the financial aspects of the mandiram. I was <coughs> interested to look after the financial matters and Desi Kachar would ask for my advice on all financial matters and abide by it. This is an example of the trust he placed on persons working with him. To me, Deskachar's greatest asset was his character, which is what I wish to deal with. 
and elaborate on. Deskachar was not interested in enriching himself through the mandiram. I'm saying mandiram, KYM, I'm saying in short, either I'll be saying KYM or mandiram. Throughout his, uh, his uh, connection with the mandiram, he did not take a single paisa for, for the consultations, the yoga classes, and teaching that he did here. Far from taking any money for the classes that he gave, he diverted quite a lot of money that was due to him. People who wanted to donate money to him, it was diverted to the KYM's coffers. Mind this, at that time, the Mandirams uh, had, had, had hardly had 3,000 to start with when it, uh, way back in 1976. And uh, so the donations that were diverted happened to be the financial base for the KYM's survival and growth. You might have heard of a lot of affluent people giving a portion of their wealth for charitable purposes. But here was a man who was not so affluent by any standards, diver diverting all money that, was, uh, that really he earned to KYM, a public charitable trust. This virtue has not been highlighted in any of the articles that have c come in the newspapers so far. And hence I thought I should speak about this first. Throughout uh, his connection with the Mandiram, he never sought, never sought any donations by word of mouth or in writing. In fact, uh, once it happened, he, we wanted to write a letter signed by all the trustees appealing for money for putting up a building for KYM. He just, re he just refrained from signing it. And so, the whole idea was dropped. This culture was uh, connected with a number of uh, VIPs, governors, high uh, politicians, high court judges, Sportsmen and uh, artists, doctors, industrialists, and you can go on this, it's a very long list. But he never publicized these connections, nor did he ever use it to benefit himself or KYM. example of his shunning publicity and consequently fame was I remember way back in uh, 1979 when he did not accept an assignment to do a series of lectures on yoga on Doodarshan. Mind you it was just, the Mandarians just started and we wanted this publicity but he refrained from it I'm certain there will be scores of such instances where he has avoided publicity for the, the yeoman service that he has been doing for the public. 
if there has been no public awards bestowed on him, it's mainly because he shunned it, just as he shunned wealth, fame, positions, or power. This has concern for the downtrodden and underprivileged resulted in the birth of a new division of KYM, namely KYM Mitra. To, to begin with, free yoga classes were given to the, uh, in the forenoon for underprivileged women in the neighborhood. And then groups of teachers used to travel to Vellu prison to teach yoga to the prisoners and give lectures on leading a good life. The Inspector General of Prisons said these visits, weekly visits of KVMP teachers had a positive impact on the prisoners. And the prisoners used to look forward to these visits. The Mitra is, as you know, is taking classes for underprivileged children of various schools. A number of institutions to which it is connected are those that cater to physically and mentally disabled, destitute children, kids with Down syndrome, spastic children, and such other affected people. All these activities show the serious interest Deshkach had in rendering true service to the public. It is said in our scriptures that happiness is not what we have, but in what we are. Let me repeat, happiness is in not what we have, but in what we are. A saying that aptly fits this gacha. This gacha happened to be the managing trustee of the KVM for 25 years. That is, he quit in 2001. I think this is because he did not wish to hold to any position of power. And two, he wished to nurture new young trustees for the future. That he has succeeded in this objective is reflected in the present occupant of the post of the managing trustee. We had a lot of uh, teachers who had left KVM, but these long-time yoga teachers who had left and started their own yoga institutions were present on invitation for KVM's building opening ceremony. This, this culture has nothing against them for leaving and these teachers continued to hold him in very high regard. I now wish to share with you a few incidents that will throw light on this culture's character and healing powers. Way back in 1978, we had a, <coughs> we had a Swiss individual who was a managing director of a large company. 
who had a serious problem connected with his throat. This got char gave him some exercise to be done twice a day. This individual's faith was such that he practiced it six times a day, six times a day, and he got the necessary relief in a very short time. It was suggested by an, an individual at that time, connected with the KYM, that we used to charge only 50 rupees per class at that time. He said, since this person has benefited greatly from the classes that he had had, and he could afford and gladly pay a higher fee, why not we charge him a higher fee? Jaiskacha refused to charge him this higher fee. I think the principle, the principle was never to relate the fee to the benefit or to the social or financial status of the student. I'm sure KYM is, is and will continue to follow this principle. The second instance is of Deskacha's experience in USA. Probably quite a few of you may be aware of it also. The wives of two of his students were down with cancer. And so Deskacha's help was sought by the husbands who were his students. One woman had no faith that yoga would help while the other did. But both women practiced yoga at the instance of their husbands. The one who had faith did benefit while the other one passed away quite soon. This only goes to show that faith is a prerequisite for yoga to be effective. The third instance was in my own case. I had a large tumor in my left foot and all my relatives and friends persuaded me to go in for surgery. This guy was not in India at that time. I waited for his return and met him and asked him for a yoga treatment. Like my f f friends and relatives, this culture also told me, why don't you see a famous allopathic doctor who was his student? Uh, I, I think uh, just then a book was released by the mandiram and I, it is, I think it's Yoga Rahasya. So I insisted on a solution through yoga, referring to a verse in Yoga Rahasya. This uh, immediately, you know, before I could finish my sentence, he just smiled and said, let's have it tomorrow. The classes will start tomorrow. You know, his smile indicated two things. I got the impression. First, his impression was he was happy that I had read the book just released by the Mandiram. Two, about the faith that I had in yoga. Next day, I reached his house. I heard a lot of uh, the rhythm chanting was going on by a group of people. 
And uh, after the completion of the chant, there was a box in which he had uh, a paste was placed, and that box he, along with me, he took it out. It was exposed to the sun, and again he did, he did some chanting. I'm not sure what the chant was. It, I presume it's Bhagya Sutra. You, people here should be aware of it. Thereafter, he came with the priest to apply to the affected area. The tumor subsided. Of course, it took a few months. It's not as if it subsided the next day. It took us five, six months. But it did subside and it didn't have to go to any allopathic treatment. All these examples will go to show that yoga goes to that. Yoga can help you if you have faith, proper practice, and of course patience. Wait, if it's a ma major problem, it won't happen uh, uh, immediately. As if it's by a touch of electricity, you get uh, power. It's not like that. I'm sure there will be numerous such instances which speakers to follow will elaborate on. This Kachar was very keen that his Guru's teachings on yoga should be should be spread far and wide. He therefore established KYM for helping people in distress. To meet the objectives of the trust, he needed trained yoga teachers. We had a major problem in 78, hardly four teachers. To that end, he started a comprehensive diploma course on yoga at KVM. I think in the last three decades, we have had more than 200 students who have completed this course, and quite a few of them, I find them here. These guys are also developed and encourage some of the senior teachers of KYM by deputing them to forums where he was invited. The, the teacher's concern gained, gained from such opportunities and exposures. In my opinion, the greatest legacy Jaisik Achar left behind is not this large building in which we are now stationed, but it's dedicated, trained, and highly specialized teachers. Let me repeat this. Legacy left behind by Jaisik Achar was not just this large building, but it's dedicated, trained, and highly qualified teachers. Jessica Shah's simple attire, you know, you see him in a half sleeved cotton shirt and dhoti, belied his importance. Soft and gentle in speech, a pleasant smile, always adorned his face. Simplicity and humility were his hallmarks. It's because of these abundant virtues that he was adored, respected, and 
called Sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Your speech was informative, insightful, and nostalgic. Now, we welcome a couple of questions from the audience, if you have any. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please. You would all be interested to know uh, the initial periods of uh, the Mandiram's existence where uh, Sri Krishnamacharya was also there to guide the activities of Mandiram uh, and uh, the kind of guidance that uh, he gave to Deshikachar sir in the initial periods of the existence of Mandiram. You will be probably surprised to know in the, in, in the initial periods, you know, as I told you, I started by saying our uh, financial, uh, the basic thing was hardly 3000 is what we started with. And uh, we had to pay rental, we had to pay the teachers. And uh, I just asked uh, this teacher, how are we going to manage it? You know, paying all this, how do we? He just said, my guru will take care of it. That was his uh, uh, thing, belief. He, he had no worries about uh, how the Mandirim was going to survive. Sir, can you tell us something about the uh, way he approached the students? No, I've, when I started, I told you, I would not like to deal with uh, this Kacha, the yoga teacher, because I've had no experience of his uh, dealing with that. My experience was him with, as a fellow trustee, and I've watched him. I've taken a lot of people for uh, classes under him, but uh, I mean, for yoga treatment, but I've never heard him speak. I'm sure you will, all this, the speakers who are going to follow will, you are going to enlighten you on this. I think that. No, actually, I think he said it in more. You will see it in more places than one. What happened was uh, one fine day, he saw a foreign lady rushing in and hugging his father. He was shocked. You know, his father is also extremely. Uh, not a person who would uh, accept such a thing. So he was, uh, after the lady left, he asked, him, asked his father, what happened and why is this lady doing this? This foreign lady, who had not slept for a number of days, I think, she was not able to sleep. After doing some yoga exercise under Krishnamacharya, had uh, started getting sleep. And so to thank him, she came running and did this. It was then, that Deskachar was convinced that yoga would be, you know, he was shifted from engineering to yoga. Thank you. Sadhu 
This was our recording of chant done by T. Krishnamacharya. So now I call upon our teachers for the closing chant.